say so don't give up who is laughing at you your waiting time is not your wasting time tell them don't ever forget this if you are not born again you will suffer again but if you are born again you get ready to pay the game was brought down to Egypt this morning I want to declare in place of going down you will go up and Joseph was brought down to Egypt and Pontify an officer of Pharaoh captain of the guard an Egyptian bought him off the hands of the Ishmaelites which has brought him down to Egypt now we put something there and go straight to Judges chapter 14 verse 1 Judges 14 verse 1 and Samson went down to Timnath and saw a woman in Timnath of the daughters of the Philistines and the verse 2 says and he went up and told his fathers and told his father and his mother verse 5 says then went something down. Then went something down. Verse 7 says, And he went down. And he went down. The first roll again. Verse 7 says, And he went down. What do you do when a force that is higher than you is pressing you down? What do you do when you know how to rise and yet you can't rise? What do you do when you live in the midst of people? Who are trying to push you down instead of helping you up? What do you do when you see yourself taking some decisions that will bring you down? Even if you know it will bring you down, but you have no willpower to say no. What do you do when you discover that every part of life you take keeps taking you down instead of taking you up? How do you feel when you hear your mates, they are testifying and yet you are complaining? What do you do when you see people that you seem to be better than? They are making it and things are not still working in your hand. What do you do? In Genesis chapter 39, the Bible says, And Joseph was brought down to Egypt. Who brought him down? His brothers. Who took him down? His relations. Joseph's intention was never to go down. But his family plotted against him. Especially in a polygamous home. His mother was a different mother from the mothers of the ten brothers. So to him, it was two versus ten. Today, my God will help him. Joseph decided that, okay, I just want to live a good life. In the midst of hatred, the man kept dreaming. In the midst of hatred, he had a dream. Ten brothers were against him. They were twelve. Himself and his Jonah brother. And the rest ten were against him. And in the midst of people being against him, he kept dreaming. Point number one this morning, child of God, keep dreaming. Don't let your relation take the dream. Don't let your environment take the dream. You are greater than where you are. No power can stop you. Who am I talking to here? You are bigger than the certificates. You are bigger than your compound. You are bigger than that office. You are in a bus stop. Bus stop is not your address. You are only waiting. You cannot waste. Somebody shout, I cannot waste. What do you do? The Bible tells me that the brothers, they said, here come the dreamer. So they branded him a dreamer. Child of God, let them brand us. Let them brand us. As a matter of fact, you ought to have a brand. If you don't have a brand, then I can tell you, you can't be fire brand. Are you sure you are hearing what I'm saying? You must have what? You must have a brand. I don't know if you are hearing what I'm saying here. I'm making you understand a brand. And I know that there's somebody here, you are going to become a brand. Am I talking to somebody? If you are a brand already, shout, I am a brand. Child of God, they branded him. Here come the dreamer. What is your brand? When I'm coming, they say, Here come the Jesus soldier. I don't know if somebody's hearing what I'm saying. 
What is your brand? Talk to your neighbor and say, what is your brand? I hear me. Make sure they don't call you prostitute. It's a bad brand. Are you sure? You say, Pastor, brand now, brand. No, there are some brands that send people out of your life. Are you sure you are hearing what I'm saying here? Now, now, they said, here come the dreamer. Hear me, child of God. Here come the dreamer. It was a brand. And you know what? Every brand has a way of trying you. But if God be for me, who can be against me? My Bible said, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. He said, one way shall they come in. Seven ways shall they flee. Are you sure you are hearing me? Are you sure you are hearing me? He said, whosoever digget a pit shall fall into. If you are here, shout fire. Fire. Child of God, hear me this morning. And hear me well. I'm making you understand that with your brand, God is able to support you. Here come the dreamer in the midst of hatred. The best place for you to dream is when you live in the midst of hatred. Don't ever give up your dream. If what you saw is not what you are seeing, there's something is going wrong, you better try to see what you saw. Because what you saw is what will empower you. You saw yourself a millionaire and now there's no much food. Food should not dictate your dream. Wow, I know you've been richly blessed. Now listen to me. Copy the address on the screen right now. I want you to join us in any of the services right here. If you live around Aja Axis in Lagos, I want you to join me also at number one bridge bus stop in Ado Road. I have just a single service there. I want you to join me this Sunday because you are set to smile again. Don't forget it. If two on earth shall agree as touching anything, it shall be done. Come, let's agree together because it shall be well with you. Arise and shine, beloved. It is your season.